he did the low glide thing. And that's why I was like, oh, dude, I need to learn how to do that. <laughs> And I think the TV was just on. Like it was literally just on. And then ABDC came out. I was like, oh, hey, cool, let's watch this. Like then in high school, I watched ABDC. Everybody watched ABDC, right? I would see, like, I would watch TV shows like America's Best Dance Crew. That's what you think. That's what you think you could dance. America's Best Dance Crew. I think, like, seeing Jabberwockies, it was cool. But once I saw Andrew Batterina from So Real, I was just like, oh, shoot. And it was uh, ABDC. Season two, uh, so real crew, but like especially uh, Andrew Batterina, he did the low glide thing. And that's why I was like, oh dude, I need to learn how to do that. <laughs> the first group that inspired me to dance was Jabberwockies. Um, I watched them on ABDC, and I loved their sets. When I was like in middle school, I started like watching YouTube and stuff like that, um, and I got super into like Quest Crew. I started watching season. Three. Oh, it was a uh, quest crew, and then I don't know. They were just so cool. They had cool hair, and I was like, "Wow, I want to do that. I want to dance like them." Um, inspirations at the time, so I when YouTube was becoming a thing. Um, it was a lot of people in that area, specifically the company. So like Pat Cruz was definitely one of my biggest inspirations. Teams like the company and Choreo Cookies. Like I would watch their sets, and I was like, "Oh my gosh." Like, I want to do that. <laughs> hey, um, wedding dress video. <laughs> because that was a video that made me realize how dance can really enhance music. There's a lot writing on that video. And then they found out that Sean Amariso choreographed it. The only person I really saw that pushes dance as an art is Larkin. And um, when I saw Larkin dance, it made me like, feel more passionate about dancing. Anyone else is probably Aggie. Even on her uh, videos on YouTube, all of them, beautiful. Like, there's just something about Aggie that I, like, it's timeless. It was Funkonometry, it was a performance. And Grant Torino opened that choreo. Um, Grant Torino from Gen 2 at the time. I saw him do, like, a dance at the convention center that, like, really like opened my eyes. Probably Kelby since not only can he dance really well but he could also choreograph. Well professionally uh, I found inspiration through Brian Christmas um, but the person that started me that started making me want to dance is my mom because uh, my mom has been like a dancer before. Who inspired me? I'd say my uncle growing up. I think the first person to inspire me was my brother. Um, my, 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 my cousin. I found out my dad used to like break dance and like pop and lock in high school and stuff. And so I just got inspired by family, really. My friend. Uh, my friends. All of them. My friends and the community. Um, so I'd say my friend Carol. She definitely inspires me to dance because she literally would push me to go to class when I was afraid to. And she took my first class here at On One with me. So yeah. I'm gonna cry. Oh my god. It was my cousin Vanessa. Um. I'm so grateful for her and she like inspires me every day. Oh my god, I can't do it! Ah! Uh, my boyfriend! <laughs> <clears throat> my boyfriend actually inspired me to start dancing because uh, we, we know each other since we were like kids. Oh, like when you're in high school, like do you want to dance? And I'm like, no. Like I'm just gonna hear like play like some maple story or like, <laughs> like eat some like chips. <laughs> Like, I don't care about dance, so then when, when uh, freshman year came around and I went to that school, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna give it a shot.